Prices for the New Face Microcurrent Facial Toner start from around £167 or $210 for the mini model. Now budget supermarket Aldi have muscled in on the act and are selling this lookalike model for just a fraction of that price at £25. Now it was a viewer who flagged this copycat visage facial massager to me and I ordered one on the spot because I was intrigued to see how it would stand up to the more expensive new face model. So how does it compare? Is it just a case of you get what you pay for or is it a smart buy for the savvy shopper? So as a bit of background, I've been using the New Face Microcurrent Toner for about six months now, and I've done a couple of videos on it, including this most recent one, which I'll link to here, showing what I felt were some good results, including a brow lift, which was what I was really aiming for. And the idea is you use it for five minutes a day for around five days a week. And the microcurrent that it emits is designed to sort of give your face a bit of a workout and the skin should appear visibly lifted over time, as mine did. And it's also helping keep my jowls in check um, under here. So um, I said in the intro that the new face starts from around £167 for the mini model, which also comes with a 59 milliliter gel primer. I bought the Trinity, the larger model, for about £270 or $325, wrongly believing it was more powerful than the mini. In fact, it's just bigger. So both models deliver up to 335 microamps at full intensity, which is setting five. So I could have saved myself 100 quid instantly there. Aldi's Visage device doesn't come with a gel toner, which is a bit of an oversight. Um, uh, it would have been nice to have made a cheaper alternative to the gel primer too. Uh, but I used the New Face gel. It's not cheap at £27 for 148 milliliters, but I use it really sparingly on wet skin. And that way it lasts longer and is a lot more cost effective. I could probably get at least three months out of one tube. So the conducting gel is fragrance free and it contains hyaluronic acid. So I do really like using it alongside the new face. And it's what I used when I was trying out the Aldi model as well. As an anti-aging device, the new face has proved really popular. And there are lots of YouTubers who've shared impressive results after using it. And it's a big beauty seller. So Aldi, ever canny when it comes to producing cheaper versions of popular brands have pulled another fast one by retailing a much cheaper version of the new face and selling it in the UK for just £25. Now cheekily it looks very similar to the new face. You know from the design it's not hard to guess the device it's trying to emulate. I ordered it from the Aldi website and it arrived within a couple of days. It's not exactly fancy packaging that it comes in, as you would expect, but arrived um, boxed. And the first thing I noticed is that it has a three-year warranty, um, while the new face comes with a one-year warranty. So there's a head start for the Visage right there. Like the new face mini, you plug the Visage um, in direct to charge. So the, the new face Trinity actually comes with its own charging crib. Um, and I've got to say, I didn't feel like my cable fully plugged into the Visage device, but it did start charging nonetheless. Uh, you're supposed to charge the device for 24 hours before you start using it, and you know it's fully charged because the um, LED lights that flash when it's charging will just go on constant. Now immediately, you can see that this is a cheaper design. It's lighter than the new face. It has just one functionality control button which you use to switch it on and off and it also lets you switch up intensity from one to five by pressing it down longer. Um, the new face also has five intensity modes but with a separate control. Again, just like its more expensive competitor, the Visage beeps every five seconds to let you know to move on to a different area, but the instructions are minimal to say the least. So with the new face, you get an instruction guide showing you multiple different lifts and holds, and there's even videos to look at. Whereas the guide with the Visage just tells you to kind of glide over the contours of your face and neck, make sure both of the current contacts are touching your skin while it's in use, and then to move the device in an upward motion from brow to hairline or nose to ear. 
and that's kind of it. Um, now, I guess that's broadly all you need to know, but it would have been nice to have a bit more guidance than that. I mentioned the new face gives off up to 335 microamps. I've done a bit of digging, including emailing the Aldi UK press team who asked my deadline. I gave them five days and they didn't come up with an answer. So all I could find out about the Aldi Visage is that it has a 800 mAh lithium battery. So it could theoretically, I think, give off up to 800 microamps, making it potentially stronger. It does feel stronger underneath the skin, that doesn't necessarily mean it's more effective. So the big question is, does it work just the same as the new face? And while I believe microcurrent is microcurrent, therefore this is likely to give your skin a lift, when you compare the two models in use on your skin, there's a big difference as you're gonna see in this clip here. Right, I'm doing a little compare and contrast here. So basically I have bare clean skin at the moment and I'm going to um, uh, share what that feels like when I use the new face on bare skin over the five settings. So um, usually I use this on five with the gel primer. Um, I'm gonna try it on one without uh, the gel primer conductor on my skin and the new face current is such that um, I probably will feel it just at one strength. Yeah, I mean it is the second it touches your skin a little bit uncomfortable just at the one setting without the primer. You know, I could get away with it but it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm almost scared to move this up through the settings. So two, mm-hmm, more uncomfortable. So I'm going up to setting three now. Oh, cheapers, creepers. Yeah, that is, you know, four. I'm a glutton for punishment here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Five, oh, actually. Absolutely, it would be unbearable to use that without the, uh, without the primer. Absolutely, couldn't do it. Now, I uh, am assuming that although though this is considerably cheaper, I'm kind of hoping that this is going to have the same level of current. Um, and it's a very similar idea to the new face, a little bit more simply designed, but look, you've got that on button and you're just pressing to move up the settings and then you're holding to switch it off. And like the new face, it's got five settings. Setting one. Okay, all right, I actually can't feel anything at all on setting one. Let's move it up to setting two. I'm feeling something slight under the skin. Setting three. Slightly higher under the skin. So there's definitely current coming out, that's for sure. Four. Really, I should, yeah. Okay, so on four, four is kind of feeling closer, but possibly, possibly weaker than one on the new face. So I'm going to take this down to level one and just see what the difference is between four and one. I think one on the new face may be slightly stronger than this, this four. No, the four is slightly stronger than the one on the new face. Okay, and we're going to five. Yeah, I mean, there is not much of an increase there. Would five be as far as high as two on this? Five on this is loosely comparable to two on the new face, but up at the, you know, that's its highest setting. There is clearly way less current coming through and going into the skin on this device. So now I'm gonna um, put some primer on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the New face on level five, which will be fine now I've got the primer. I'll feel it, but it won't be uncomfortable. 
and I will use um, the visage on five as well over the eyes and alongside. Okay, so in terms of levels of discomfort, both are absolutely fine. And I think the, the big sort of test is gonna be over the eyes to see if we can, like, look, you know, to be fair to the visage, actually, now I'm using it at setting five, although it, it, it doesn't create that kind of instant prickle on the skin in the same way the new face does, below the skin, it's feeling quite powerful which makes me a little bit more hopeful. Okay, let's see if we, um, oh God, I mean, that is actually really quite strong over that eye. This is pulsating really strongly over my left eye. It actually feels much more powerful, which is really weird um, than the new face even though that tingling sensation on the skin was incomparable. The new face felt so much stronger on the skin. You know, the new face I can kind of hold, you get this kind of controlled current under the skin and you can do lifts and holds, which feels very comfortable on five. Like that, you know, you could just keep going with that for a couple of minutes if you wanted. This on five is tough. Okay, there is no visible and immediate difference um, between them. So it really does just come down now to a comfort factor. This on four was comfortable to use, but this has a much more, what feels like a more controlled current coming through that is more comfortable to use for longer periods of time. So the upshot for me on this was that if I had bought the Visage without first using the new face, I would have lightly used it on a lower setting because I found it pretty uncomfortable, but I would have been blissfully unaware that the new face is significantly more comfortable to use because there's something in the design and manufacture of the new face that means um, perhaps it's a slightly lower current or a more controlled current. It just feels much more comfortable and controlled on the skin. And therefore, it's something that I readily and happily include in my routine. And I can use it for a full five minutes with no problems every day or even longer at the highest setting as long as I use the gel. Now, whether I would have kept going with the Visage in quite the same way is questionable because at this point, Having used the two, it's not a swap that I'm willing to make. Um, I should say that my skin felt very tingly and itchy after using the Visage, uh, more so than it does with the new face, again, likely because of the intensity of the current. Now, a solution to that is just to turn the intensity down until you get used to it. So it's not the end of the world, but while five on the new face is comfortable for me, even setting four on the Visage and, and below was a bit rough and that was with the gel. So ultimately, I don't feel bad about buying the new face. I'm still happy I bought it. The Visage is not a carbon copy, it's a cheaper copy, and you do kind of get what you pay for with it, but it also does what it says on the tin. And there's gonna be many a savvy shopper who snap this up and get results from using it. And uh, what the 25 pound price exposes is that at 170 pounds plus for the new face, Although it's a more robust, better designed device and more comfortable to use, it's a heck of a price differential. Now the big winner may be someone who comes in and offers a new face quality at a midway price point. Incidentally, the instructions say you can use the visage on other parts of your body, such as the arms, waist, hips, thighs, and calves, but not the breast area or the muscles within the orbital rim, just around your eyes there or the midline throat area of your neck or your groin. But if you want to go ahead and try it out on your arms or legs to see if you can and do a little bit of skin toning there, go for it. 
As with the new face, it's not recommended for use if you're pregnant, suffer from seizures, have a pacemaker or other electronic implanted device. Overall, this product represents another smart move on Aldi's behalf. It's absolutely what you would expect for £25. It's a little rough and ready, but it does the job and it's affordable and potentially a good place to start for anyone curious about microcurrent and whether it could work for them. So I hope you found this comparison helpful. I do love to hear your views, experiences and opinions. So if you've tried the Visage or another cheaper microcurrent model than the new face, let me know in the comments. So next time on the Honest channel, I'm going to be sharing my experience of using microneedle skin patches. And if you want to see my videos and reviews as they're published, just hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.